So hi friends and today we shall be discussing about uh, the recommender system in Python and uh, this is a very basic recommender system which we will build today. So uh, this is the uh, website I would be providing the link so you can go through this in detail. So uh, what is a recommender system I'll just go walk you through in very brief lines that it is just uh, it can be understood as when we make suggestions about a movie we have our own opinions and suppose our friends ask us that uh, how was the movie did you like it and based on our opinion they you know judge whether to go or not to go so this recommender system is such a system which also gives you some uh, recommendations and based on it you decide whether you want that that movie or you want to go for that show or not so we have seen a classic example of movie recommender or any shows recommender and that is Netflix. So that is the classic example for this. So um, there are various recommendation system but uh, most col common are like collaborative and content based filtering. So uh, in this recommender system, in this project, we will be just be building a simple recommender system. And in the next we can see about content based filtering. So this is the theory part. I hope uh, this uh, this page will guide you through, walk you through this process, entire process of random and popularity based, item based, you know, systems, configuration, uh, content based system, collaborative filtering and all. So I'll just walk you through the data set. So what you would do is you go to the Kaggle website and here you would find this TMBD 5000 movies data set and uh, you can just download this data set from here. Two data set would be downloaded, two files, CSV files. One is credit and another one is movies. So you download them, unzip the zip folder and uh, start building your recommender project with me now. So now, okay, we come to our uh, directory where we'll be working. So I'll just zoom in. So this is my current directory and I have uploaded the files here. This is credit.csv. I have uploaded this file. So wherever you've downloaded that, upload the file credit.csv and another one is movies.csv. Now what we do is we, uh, my file is already running. So I'll just walk you through this file, the code of this. So, okay. So we start with importing the basic libraries that is NumPy and Pandas. Uh, and the second step is download the data set. Now we load the data set here in this Jupyter Notebook. And how do we do it? We create two objects. First is df1 and in this we read the CSV file. The first is like credits.csv. You can also rename this file as per your choice, right? And then you see the first five entries of this df1 data frame. And we see that we've got four columns, movie ID, title, cast and crew as you can see it here and now we see the shape of this data set we have got 4803 rows and four columns if you see the information of this it will give you the null values and the data type and also the columns so we have seen that there are no null values here and the data type is integer and object okay right so now what we do is we load the data set for the second data frame that is the movies data set converted into a data frame and we see the first five entries of this data frame 2 and this is the movies.csv file right so you can see that uh, how this has been here so I just show you an entire feel of this budget home page ID keywords and so on if you just go on with this vote average vote count just see this Vote average, vote count, tagline, and uh, runtime, revenue, release date, so production company, production countries. This is the data set. Now, what is the shape of this data? I see the shape of the second data set, and that is 4803 and 20 columns. That means 4803 rows and 20 columns. Information, if we quickly just derive the information of this, we see that there are some you can just see the column names and the none values and in home page we've got some null values okay and rest we don't have but here in taglines also we've got certain null values to deal with so right now it is not of a concern but we'll move on to a different thing now another thing is that now you have to merge this data set to proceed further so what we'll do is we will merge the two data frames okay 
so i will merge the merge these two data frames on the column id okay because this is the same on both the data sets so what i do is in df dot columns this is the object in which i will have three four column four columns that is id title cast and queue that is what our data set had and on df2 i'll create an object in this i will merge df1 on what id simple right and you check this df dot df2 dot head that is it will give you the first five entities and when you will see this you can see that you've got five rows and 23 columns okay that means your four columns have been increased the last three columns if you see here that is the title cast and crew which was our first data set so this has been concatenated or merged now we come to now another thing which I want to show you is something uh, here which I'll come here. Um, now let us just understand what I'm doing here. Now we want to dig into this data set and derive some meaningful information from this. So for this what I have to do is I want to find some metric for rating the movie because I have to rate the movie and as per its good rating I will recommend that movie okay. If it is a good movie it will have high rating and vice versa so now we need to calculate the score also for every movie so that it can be easily analyzed right and also we have to sort these scores and you can then recommend the best rated movie to the users so this is how we go to it now we will have to find the scores and we have to find a metric wherein we can rate these movies right now um the simplest thing would be we have a column called average okay if you see here we've got a column called average rating here vote average we could simply use this column to make recommendation but the thing is that your count differs now suppose this movie has a rating of 7.2 and the vote count is lesser than the movie which has got 6.9 so this would not be justified that means vote count vote average if it is greater but vote count is less then the movie recommendation would not be justified okay so what i do is i go with this imd's weighted rating formula where in this weighted as you can see this that you have this number of votes divided by number of votes plus minimum votes into the average of rating of the movie plus the minimum number of votes divided by again v plus m into c c is the mean of the vote across the whole data set we have right so this is the formula we will be using for this okay this formula now we'll go to back to our uh, data set here the jupyter notebook and we will see how do we calculate this c so i create an object called c you can name it anything but as per the formula we are for the convenience we are writing c so c is equals to what what i what do i want for my this data set df2 data set of vote average dot mean since i have the vote average i will take out the mean of it the entire columns the entire 4803 columns and uh, sorry rows and we will find the mean of it and the mean is coming to be 6.09 that means roughly all the movies are rated like on a scale of 10 they are rated on this as 6 that is the mean average okay but uh, now how would you recommend these movies to any user that which you movie is the best or popular so what we do is we find the minimum votes so that we can eliminate few movies from our chart okay or from our list so what i do i create an object called m again so this for the again for the calculation sake take a variable called m and again vote count and we'll take 90 quartile 90 why we are taking this quartile 90 is that because of the 90 percent we want 90th percentile of our cutoff that means that um the movies which have votes more than at least 90 percent they will be in the list okay so i want the movies only those movies which have got higher vote and i want them to be included in this list so that's why i'm giving a quartile as 90 okay so I'm giving this quartile as 0.9 and when you find you find that 1838 something movies this is the minimum values which which means that these are the this is the minimum value which I can include in my list now I will put these two values in the formula to get the list of the movies 
which would be made for recommendation okay so what i do is i create an object called list underscore movies you can create any object any name and then make a copy of your df2 data frame 2 and then you just create a condition here that vote in this column weight vote count if it is greater than or equal to m that means if this minimum value this minimum vote is greater than or equal to 81838.40 then include that movie in that list so that is what it is doing it will include 481 movies when i see the shape it will include 481 movies in the list okay so i've got my new list of movies that means the highest rated movies as per the formula right and this is not based on any assumption any any assumption like any average or any vote kind of thing we have calculated it with a formula now what we do is now we have to get this thing in our data set in this table so what we do is we define a function and this function is weighted average function this weighted rating function and in this this x would be like every movie and m equals to m same the minimum votes c is c will be the mean of the entire movie right average vote average and create these v and r because these will be needed in this formula so this v would be vote count and r would be vote average okay so this is what we have dealt with this in this formula if you remember here that v is the number of votes and r is the average rating and that is what we have used here in the formula and then you return this formula as v divided by v plus m and so on okay now here again for your reference m is 8318 1838 and c is 6.09 okay now again moving further what we do is in this list movies score this is the column which i want score here to be added and where you apply what you apply this weighted rating and access is one that is in this column it would be added so now when you see this head you you see this data frame head movies list you will find the score being added here see this score has been added here and how have we calculated this score is through this weighted rating okay right so now you can also see the shape of this if you don't want to see this thing you can just see the shape and you see it is 24 that means another column has been added and that is of the score that is what we wanted now what we since we have all these all this uh, entire data entire rows and columns now we will sort these movies okay we sort these movie according to their score so that it is easier for us to understand which movie ranks the first okay so now we again uh, go on this object list movies which we have created earlier and then we will apply the sort values and ascending is false okay so the highest movie rating would be com coming here so now i just see the first 10 movies and uh, what all columns do i need for that i have taken title x i have taken vote count average and score so you can uh, take other other features other columns also if you need but these the, these are the important ones so i have taken that and um, you can see that the movies listed as per their score in descending order okay godfather inception pulp fiction dark knight so if you're not watch this movie shock swung redemption if i'm not wrong yeah shock swung this is a very nice movie you know you you should you should watch this movie godfather inception movie the novel is better i feel mario puzo's godfather okay so these are the movies which are being ranked according to their score a lot of the rings and stuff so now um this is the basic i would say recommender system but there's one more step to this it is that the most popular movies now what happens is that if you want to like uh, go and on some tab in some uh, website and you see the trending movies tab and you see the most popular movies the scroll down list will come okay so how do we get that what you do is you make an object called pop and that in that i i go with the popularity this is a column one of the column in my data set if you have not gone through i will just show you this column so according to popularity i will be seeing my movies okay so i'll just show you this popularity where is this popularity yeah they here the popularity according to the popularity i want the movies to be listed so that i can select which is the most popular movie 
that is what I want. So what I do is here I come, I sort, and again I see the six top most popular movies here. And this is just going into the nitty gritties of plotting the matplotlib uh, horizontal bar graph. So you can see it in. Um, I'll be providing this code. No, no problem. Just just understand this code. So we've given the title. We've given, labeled the x and y axis, and as per the popularity. We are getting these movies. So you can see Minions is the most popular here. Interstellar, Deadpool, Gardens of the Galaxy, and so on. So I am getting six. You can just change this to 10 or so, right? Now, another thing, you can just play around with this uh, with this feature. Okay, instead of popularity, I have just used here like budget. So the high budget movies, it was Pirates of Caribbean on the Strange Stride. So you can see here. And uh, next was again Pirates of Caribbean, then Avengers, Superman Returns, John Carter, and so on. So you can also change this, like uh, change this to 10, 15 as per your as per your choice and recommendation. Okay. So this is about uh, how do you really sort out the movies as per their budget or popularity or revenue. So if you want to see about revenue, you can see this. And I can just change the color if it is running. Okay. So this is uh, about the revenue. And you can see that Avatar was the movie which had the highest revenue. Then Titanic, then Avengers, Jurassic World, Furious 7, and so on. Okay. So if, if we just see here like so, 10. Okay. Single shape. All right. Let's revert it back. Yeah. So this was on revenue. You can experiment with different features here as per your choice. So this was based on the popular movies, on the budget, and on the revenue. Um, another thing, if you explore in this um, columns, I would just take you, walk you through these columns. Like you can go ahead with the runtime also and see the movie's runtime which is the highest rated movie in runtime and uh, now this variable has to be like something uh, in numeric okay so try experimenting with that and see what comes out with different plots and colors so this was it for this video and in the next we shall be dealing with um, one more thing is that the uh, this recommender system is not that uh, robust because it is not giving you your individual taste and preferences choice it is it is just giving you a basic general i would say uh, movies right it is not giving you any content based filtered like uh, according to your taste according to your like if you have selected a uh, thriller or horror or mysterious movies it will not give you those movies it will it will give you the most popular most sought after so to make it more content based more user preference based we will go we have to make content based filtering um, into this recommender system so we will in the next video we shall dwell more into the depth of this recommender system and we'll deploy this content based recommender system into this uh, the same movie recommender system so that would be the second follow-up or the second part of this recommender system so stay tuned for this video guys and uh, thanks for watching